Hello everyone, uh, my name is John. Uh, I've got a Tenere 700, Yamaha Tenere 700. And um, I purchased a uh, headlight guard or headlight grill for the bike because I had to replace one headlight at once and it was like 400 and some dollars. So I'd like to not do that again. So the kit I purchased was off of eBay and it was a Chinese company. And um, it got some good reviews. The problem with it is the kit comes and there's no instructions at all on how to put this thing together. So I thought I'd, uh, I actually have two of them. The first one I really struggled with. And so I thought I'd do the second one and maybe do a video and help somebody who might be having the same struggles that I am. So first off, let me show you uh, the uh, components of the kit. Okay, so these are the components of the kit. The first thing right here, obviously, is the, the grill itself, or the guard itself. And uh, first thing about orientation, you'll notice that it's um, uh, wider at the top uh, than it is at the bottom. Uh, so this is oriented the correct way as it would be on your bike, okay? And then we've got these parts here. So first thing I would say, there's a connect collection of bolts, um, threaded lock washer uh, nuts, and some spacers. So these are the uh, larger diameter bolts, and those go with the lock nuts, and then the longer spacers, those all go together. And th this component, these components will be used to attach these brackets to the headlight guard. And then this collection here, these are the uh, smaller diameter bolts, and these washers, and then the shorter uh, spacers, those all go together, and those will be used to attach the grill uh, to the bike, okay? So what I'll do first is go through um, how to assemble the brackets onto the grill, and then we'll go down to the bike. So this is everything you need to attach the brackets to the actual head guard, uh, headlight guard. Uh, so the important thing here with these brackets is that they're oriented correctly. Uh, and I've made this mistake numerous times, so hopefully this video will keep you, the rest of you from making the same mistakes I make. Uh, so the bracket should be oriented such that, so the grill, if you look at the headlight grill, the, the wide part at the top is at the top, the more narrow section of the grill is at the bottom. And these brackets should be oriented such that this little dog leg down here is at the bottom, and this part of, is with the extra tab is at the top. And then also um, the bracket uh, at the top and at the bottom, you'll notice it has a bend in it, and they should be bending in towards the bike. Not, we don't want it, you know, this way with the, you know, with the, you know, the metal tabs coming out facing you. So each side should be oriented that way. Same on this side with the tabs bending in towards the, towards the bike, uh, or away from us in this picture. Okay, and I'll go ahead and. Um, assemble and show you what the assembled part looks like. And so you can see I just assembled just the top part. Uh, so the metal bolt, the larger diameter metal bolt goes through the headlight frame at the top, goes through the long spacer, goes through that tab uh, at the top, and then there's a lock nut on the back side. So I'll go ahead and um, loosely assemble the rest of the bracket um, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, that's what the finished product looks like with the brackets on the headlight guard. And you'll see that on the lower one, the bolt goes to the very bottom hole in the bracket. The hole above that is gonna be for attaching to the bike and the very top hole is gonna be attaching for the bike. You notice those holes again are slotted and that's why there'll be a metal washer that'll be used there. There are no washers used uh, to attach the bracket here and here or in here and here. Okay, so the brack, the, the metal washers are going to be for attaching the guard to the bike. Okay, okay, I'm back. <laughs> so what we're now uh, at the bike. This is my uh, Yamaha T700, and uh, so we're gonna the um, headlight grill attaches at these points, these two bolts here, and these two on the other side. Okay. So in order to remove these bolts, you'll need a number four Allen wrench, and there are a rubber uh, washers behind there. You need to save those. We're gonna use those 
to uh, complete the installation. So don't lose those. And since I'm filming this by myself, one-handed, I'm gonna put the uh, video on pause and go ahead and get those bolts out. And then I'll show you what they look like when I'm, when I'm done, because I don't wanna lose those. Thanks. So these are the four rubber washers uh, that came out. You will not need the bolts, so you can discard or save those bolts. Uh, so what we've got here are then the, where those bolts came out of. Again, you need a number four Allen wrench to remove those. And you got on that side and that side. Okay. So now you take the four smaller diameter bolts and slide over each bolt the flat uh, metal uh, washers over each one. And these again will be used to attach the grill to the bike. Okay, so then you take the bolt, slide the bolt with the metal washer through the hole in the bracket, the top, the top uh, hole, and then slide the shorter spacer and then the rubber washer that you took off the bike uh, over the bolt. Okay, and then that's going to be used to secure it to the bike. So I'll show you this in a second. Okay, I just put in the top right bolt. And like I said, it's the, uh, the bolt, the smaller diameter bolt goes through the bracket with the metal washer behind the bolt. And then uh, the short spacer goes on next. Then the rubber spacer, the washer that came off the bike, that goes on next. And then uh, we go ahead and screw it into the hole where the original uh, OEM bolt came out of. I'll go ahead and attach the other side here and show you what that looks like. Okay, that's just the top two bolts uh, in place. And it should just fit right on without too much trouble. Uh, I use the number three um, Allen wrench to uh, go ahead and uh, secure those bolts to the bike. These right, this one right here. So that's a number three. This one here is a number four Allen. So everything right now is loose. So until I get all the bolts in, um, I won't tighten anything up. Okay, that's what all for all the bolts in. So the bike is now the guard is now connected to the bike. So we got that mounting bolt goes to the bike. Um, that one right there goes to the bike. Uh, I'm sorry, mistake. These, this one and this one attaches the grill to the bike. That, uh, that bolt there and that bolt there attaches the guard to the bracket. And again, I really wanna stress the orientation of the brackets are critical because otherwise you'll be very frustrated. Um, that little dog legs at the bottom the extra tab is at the top and the brackets should, the tab and the bottom um, bolt hole should bend into the bike, not away, because otherwise it won't line up correctly. And uh, it's important to leave all the bolts loose, particularly the ones that mount to the bike. Like when you get the top two in, keep, leave those loose. Otherwise you have a really hard time getting the lower bolt in. So uh, let me get everything. So what I'm gonna do right now is just tighten up the bracket bolts and then I'll come back and tighten up the bolts that attach to the bike. Okay, I just tighten up the bolts that hold the headlight guard to the bracket. So it's a number four Allen wrench. And then on the back side, on that lock nut right there, I used a 10 millimeter end wrench. So now all I got left to do is just take a number three Allen and then uh, tighten up those four bolts that attach the guard to the bike and then we're good to go. So I hope I didn't make this any more confusing than it had to be. I hope it helps somebody because I sure wish I could have found this video when I was doing it. So um, thanks again and hope you enjoy.